Welcome to Online Math TV. My name is Jakes Anemo, and here we learn mathematics every day. Here before us, we have a, a challenge on radical equation. The question is simple, but there is a, a little mistake most persons make in handling this kind of radical equation. Okay, before going to today's challenge, if you are new to this channel, kindly subscribe and turn on the bell notification button so that you get notified whenever we drop a wonderful video, answer video like the one you're about to watch right now. Let's put down our question. So we take solution. Solution. The question reads the square root of 2x plus 9 minus the square root of x plus 1 equal to the square root of x plus 4. Now we have to square both sides of the equation. So we now say um, square, square root sides. Now here comes the mistake most persons make in solving this kind of radical equation. They tend to square this separately and this separately. By so doing, you get the wrong answer. And so we square the whole of this and we square the whole of this on the right hand side separately and so this will now be expressed as 2 the square root of 2x plus 9 minus the square root of x plus 1 r squared equal to the square root of x plus 4 r squared of course the left hand side of the equation does not have a uh, much issue okay because this would go with this and yeah, we use this to open itself. If we do that, we're going to be left with um, 2x plus 9. Okay, then minus, we will have two of this other guy here, which is root 2x plus 9, close bracket, bracket, this other side here, x plus 1, close bracket, the plus x plus 1 everything equal to your x plus 4. Very easy. Any confusion? No. So we continue again. From here, we can collect this term and this term we have here now. Okay? Then, if possible, let's bring everything here to this other side and take the whole of this to the right hand side. And so we're going to have this to be 2x bring this x plus x then this s comes here becomes minus x okay good there we have our plus nine there this one here plus one and this four here turns to minus four everything equal to your two bracket open the square root of two x plus nine bracket bracket square root of x plus one close bracket all right now if you look at this carefully thing is simple okay here yeah. this we take care of this and so here yeah, we, we now have nine plus one will give us ten ten minus four will give us six so we're going to have this to be two x plus six equal to 2 bracket the square root of 2x plus 9 close bracket bracket the square root of x plus 1 close bracket ah oh, right now if you check carefully you discover that 2 can go to this 2 can go to this and 2 can go to this other side so we factor out 2 if we factor out 2 we are now left with x plus 3 equal to the square root of 2x plus 9 bracket bracket or into the square root of x plus 1 close bracket. Any confusion? No. Now let's proceed with our serving. Now at this point, we cannot open this side of the equation or we uh, square both sides of the equation. Okay. So if we square both sides again, so we'll say square both side both side if we do that we're going to have this to be x plus 3 r squared equal to bracket the square root of 2x plus 9 
close bracket bracket the square root of x plus one close bracket or into a square bracket of course this we go with this and at the same time go with this all right so from here the left hand side of our equation is going to give us here to be uh, x squared plus 6x plus um, 9 all right equal to here we are now left with 2x plus 9 close bracket bracket x plus 1 close bracket again we can go ahead to open up this side of the equation so when i have this to be x squared plus 6x plus 9 equal to your 2x squared the plus 2x plus 9x plus on 9 good very easy we are moving forward from here we can collect our light terms if we collect our light terms let the left hand side be zero so go to have everything zero here equal to let's transfer everything to the right hand side so we will have 2x squared minus x there plus 2x this guy crosses to this side turns to minus 6 then plus your uh, 9x here then bring your 9 to this other side we have here to be plus 9 minus 9 of course this we go with x and so we have the 0 equal to we're left with x squared sorry yes x squared please okay so your 2x squared minus x squared will give us here x squared yeah okay so on this other side 2x minus 6x will give us minus 4x then minus 4x plus 9x will give us plus 5x so this now implies we have here to be x squared plus 5x equal to 0. we can factor out x from this expression so this will now give you x bracket x plus x into this will left with 5 equal to 0. at this point we use the zero product rule which says your x equal to 0 or your x plus 5 equal to 0. now therefore x is equal to 0 or x is equal to minus 5. all right at this point if we plug in your uh, figures the value the roots into our equation we go to um, uh, have uh, the first one to be correct and the second one will be rejected okay so from here so we now this now implies that x equal to zero is the current is the correct answer because if we plug this into this into our initial equation which is um, your uh, square root of 2x plus 9 minus square root of s plus 1 equal to square root of x minus plus 4 it will give us zero if we check that and so this is the accepted one this is the accepted one meanwhile your x uh, s equal to minus 5 is rejected we reject this one so this one is rejected all right thanks for always be there this is all i must tv once again if you have a question drop it in the comment section remember we love you so much bye for now